<clears throat> morning. Sunday morning here over in Port of Iron, getting ready to go watch the Craig Avon Cowboys play the first playoff game of the season against the Wexford Eagles. Looking forward to it. I interviewed them, you might have seen it on Thursday night there with the Sports Babble for uh, just a little preview of what's going on today. And I, I've sort of been interested in a wee while in getting involved with the Cowboys and, and hearing from them because I'm, I'm a massive American football fan and to have a team playing on, on your doorstep is pretty cool, I think, like in, 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 the, Irish, in the Ireland League. Um, so yeah, we, we interviewed them on Thursday night, get a little lowdown on what's going on with the Cowboys and how they're looking forward to, to, to today's playoff game. Um, so that was brilliant. And thanks again, Joe, for sitting down with me and, and letting me interview you and chat with you. And I'll just start a little vlog for today. We're going to follow the Cowboys at 2 o'clock. Um, maybe try and get a little interview afterwards with, with some of them. and Hopefully they'll be talking about a result, a, a good result. Um, and then watch on for playoff glory but um no i think it's i was down watching on on thursday night um training and it was really really interesting seeing them go through certain plays and um sort of runs and different things and i'm massively into my mouth as i've said like i love how tactical and tactical it can get like and it's like a big massive game human game of chess um so yeah looking forward to it um i'm not sure if i said on uh, Thursday night, but I'd be a, a Cardinals fan. That'll be controversial with a few best mates of mine that might have something to say about that, but yeah. So, um, if you haven't seen it yet and you have Amazon Prime, please check out All or Nothing, the two series they have up there from NFL films. The first one's on the Cardinals, and that sort of won me over to support them. I just loved it. It was a brilliant, brilliant series. And the second one, which I'm about to finish now, is on. LA Rams, which was last year's season, so again, really, really interesting, and it's class to see the detail they get into it, and how it's the nuts and bolts of an American football team, what goes on, so, yeah, this week has been heavily American football oriented, as I say, this will be our little Sunday vlog, and there'll be something else coming up during the week, but I'll talk about that later on, um, but yeah, this is me up ready, it's ten past twelve on a Sunday morning, I haven't just got up, by the way, I've been up from eight o'clock, um, but yeah, heading over now to the in-laws for some free Sunday lunch, um, and then off down to the game. So, see you in a bit. First quarter over, Cowboys 6, zip up, a little bit of video action. Got my good friend Owen help me out here. <clears throat> Started quite well, actually, really well. Um, I'm really impressed with Locker and a quarterback for the Cowboys. I think he's my class. He seems to um, be able to find himself a lot of space. All these mad defenders running at him and pick out a pass, but the Cowboys have just been a wee bit unlucky a couple of times. This really should be about 10 or 12 more up. But it's going well, second quarter about to start, so we'll be back at half time with an update. Cheers! Second half just started. Um, the Cowboys and Eagles game here. In People's Park. I am absolutely roasted. Or jeans, which was a bit of a stupid move there, Owen, wasn't it? Yeah. And I am absolutely roasted. <clears throat> In the second half, it is 24 20 to the Eagles. So the Cowboys have a bit of work to do. Um, they've had numerous chances, though, to, to get even further ahead, so I'm sure they'll be disappointed that they're not ahead in this game, but we'll see what's happened. It's been a good, actually, been a good game. You can probably hear it going on in the background there. It started and Eagles are in possession of the ball. We just got a second first down, so we'll see what happens. But hopefully the Cowboys can pull out this second half. Get the W. Cheers. Ooh. Cowboys went and won, didn't they? <clears throat> Can't believe that for a game of American football, but the Craig Gavin, Craig Gavin. Cowboys won. Well done, lads. Um, when I last videoed the, the vlog, um, it was about, I think the second half had just started, and they were down, I think they were down by four, 24-20 20 at half time. And then um, they got sort of into the third quarter, and the, one of the players picked up what looked like a, a bit of a serious injury, and I think it was a neck injury. Um, so hopefully, I didn't get his full name, I think it was Duddy. Um, Jason Duddy, but hopefully he's 110 percent everything's okay. And it was just precaution. Um, I wish him all the best from the sports bubble. Um, but he got injured, so 
in the third quarter and, and the Cowboys they were getting beat 30-20 at this point but they were sort of being stopped a bit and everything looked like it had gone a little bit flat plus the lads looked absolutely punctured um, they only had 18 players the Cowboys whereas the Wexford Eagle had like something like I don't know they looked like a full squad anyway which is about 40 I think it was but it looked like they had about 200 on the sideline the Wexford Eagles the way it was so the Cowboys had to dig in massively deep and um, they managed to win the game 44-37 <clears throat> but it doesn't even tell half the story somehow they got themselves in the lead 36-30 in the fourth quarter um, and both teams just both teams offences were just having a lot of lot of um, good moments in this game and the Eagles managed to get through and then for the first time in the whole game a team decided to kick a field goal and they went 37-36 up it was all in the Cowboys now, I think it was about three minutes left, but they got Matt into the two minute warning. And then um, their quarterback, uh, I think it was a quarterback, and anyway, he managed to get across the line. Who, his second name is Lochran, so I don't know his full name. And again, apologies if I've got this wrong. I wasn't, I'm like, I didn't see much of the Cowboys beforehand, but now I'm definitely buying into it. That was brilliant today. But yes, Lochran, the quarterback, uh, he was superb all day. Um, he managed to get across and then they got the two point conversion so that was them 44-37 up had to give the ball back now it's into the last two minutes, last two minutes here so it's in about one minute 20 or something on the clock Wexford Eagles get the ball they start coming back up the pitch and back up the pitch and they start getting first down and first down and first down and you're thinking oh no and then they're only about 10 yards from the end line and they're on first down Cowboys stop them, second down, Cowboys stop them, third down, Cowboys stop them, but they're getting closer to that first down, and, and I think it might be the first time they've even been the end line this season, but they're getting closer and closer to this end line, so they go forward and forth down the Wexford Eagles, and Sean Byrne and the Cowboys comes, he just came out of nowhere, and just minced the Wexford Eagles player had the ball, and uh, that was it, game over, and the Cowboys, the ones that could still stand up and could still celebrate, all went mad, some of them just dropped straight to their knees, they're absolutely punctured. But such an an unreal effort from the Craig Avon Cowboys today. Um really, really, really enjoyed that lads. Fair play it is. Um you have a championship bowl game to go to now on the twentieth of August, which means I'll have to come back down and interview some more of you or interview Joe again whoever wants to come and have a chat with me. And I know where you train, so you just can't hide. Um, so we'll have to get coverage for that um, might even depend where it is depend what we're doing I'm trying to get down and see that myself because that was brilliant today I got sunburned for you lads I took some pain for you as well that's the sort of me managed to, to get sunburned only on one side I don't know if you can see it now because the light's not great but um, I'm sunburned all down this side and white Casper all down this side so that's a good luck to go back to work on a Monday morning Um. Well done the Cowboys, uh, there's another, there was two other big victories today, I didn't see the hurling but I know who's won it, um, Waterford are through the next round, unlucky Wexford, um, brilliant all season and Lee Chin's my boy like, um, so he'll be back again next year and I haven't seen any of that yet, I've just seen the results so I'll be watching that later, um, we'll be talking about it during the next video during the week, pardon me, um, Jordan Spieth, Jordan Spieth won the Open <clears throat> I sighed because I'm not I, I don't, people know, know me I'm not a Jordan Spieth fan of him I, I just don't find him interesting enough to be a fan of his and yes I am 110% aware um, Stephen Gerrard was Liverpool captain and he gets labelled as this boring figure I do not care but um, Jordan Spieth yeah I just cannot warm to him but he is absolutely ridiculous I came back in and just had to catch highlights of what was going on with the Open so I didn't see all day what was happening but whatever happened on that 13th uh, hole and where he got himself stuck and he managed to recover it and get it the, as i seen I think it was Joe Malloy maybe it said from a uh, news talk on Twitter the best bogey of his life and that has nailed it that sentence and then managed to go I think is it birdie eagle birdie <clears throat> after dropping back to tie the lead and I think it actually took him I think Kutcher overtook him on that hole. That is some serious mental toughness from that fella. And he is only 
really a kid like he was he 22 23 if even i think and he's won three majors and he's on for the grand slam which he could win in the next major is that's just daft but um you cannot doubt and i'm not even me that isn't a big fan of his and it's not like people might think it's because i'm a like i'd be maybe a rory fan shane laurie is my favorite golfer um and i really like phil nicholson as well um so it's not even anything to do with that before anybody says and um, there is always this talk of speed and mcelroy together and i think golf you know what whatever people thinks i think golf needs rory to come back and start chasing majors with speed and the two of them go at it for a couple of years together you can see what like look what does in football with <clears throat> messi and ronaldo and um, those two going at it and it just like it just brought them on the different levels and i think it would benefit both and, it, and it's the, for us to see a couple of majors where the two of them are going in the last day say one's in front or the tied for the lead and they're together and they're just and then even Ryder cups and those two are flying i think it'd be brilliant for golf but well done to jordan spieth um and uh, yeah that's sort of it for the golf <laughs> i haven't seen much of it so i can't talk loads about it um what have we got coming up uh I was meant to interview Paddy Byrne last week, but some circumstances myself was going off on holidays, and then Paddy was off in China, um, doing a bit of coaching and a bit of work, and I do believe he was interviewed, and he was on radio and maybe even TV to millions of people <laughs> in China, which is mad. Um, so uh, we're going to hear about that. I'm going to be interviewing Paddy on Wednesday night. Um, it's going to come out on podcast form because we're going to be doing it over the phone. So um, that's going to be going up. That'll still go up on YouTube on the Sports Babble, um, but it'll go up on all your podcast sites, which are, we're on iTunes, we're on Podcast Addict is one I use for my podcasts on Android. It's brilliant. Um, obviously SoundCloud, and then as I said, the the, the YouTube uh, page. Um, so that's really looking forward to that. Um, great having Cowboys. I'll finish it off. Brilliant today. Well done, all of you. Um, Get plenty of rest. <laughs> get players that are hurt today. Get them back fit. Players that are missing. Get them all back. You have a championship game now to play, and hopefully get on to the into the Shamrock Bowl next year, which would be class. Um, and it was nice to see there was about a hundred people sort of down and total watching on the banks and stuff and sitting underneath the wall. And there was families down, which is good. So hopefully, like I, I've been promoting you, I've been telling everyone that listen that you were playing and. People came down, a couple of my friends were down today, three or four of them were down, which is brilliant. Um, and, I, and they enjoyed it, like, so if I can get three or four down and then someone else can three or four down at Monopoly, then it gets bigger. And, you know, it was really, really well done. Um, and brilliant game. Obviously, the sunshine was glass too, which helped. But, yes, Cowboys, um, I want to talk to Moyes. I want Moyes to come on and chat to me about American football and about what got you into it. So if you're watching this and you play with the Cowboys or the Cowboy coaches or Joe, you want to come on again, you you went down, it went down really well during the week so you can come on again. Joe played brilliant by the, by the way today, folks. Uh, it, as a running back as well, you just blitz and pass people. So well done. And i say you're hurting the day tonight, fella, because you were on all game. But yeah, I've talked enough. Uh, I need to go get this face fixed because I'm sunburnt to pieces and it's starting to sting on this side. And my arm's starting to sting silly now, but... Remember, check us out on Facebook at the Sports Babble. Check us out on Twitter at the Sports Babble. Check me out. I am Philip McCullough on Facebook. You'll see me anyway on Facebook and Twitter. Do me a favour. If you see the video or the podcast up on Facebook or Twitter, retweet, like, share them. And if you get a chance, and if you have a YouTube page yourself that you maybe you subscribed on to so you can watch certain videos, go on to our page, the Sports Babble, subscribe, Check out our three videos, this will be our fourth that are, that are up. Tell all your mates. I want to get this going and throw myself behind it. So some of my mates are involved, obviously he's been involved and he's still involved in a couple of other ones. We're going to throw ourselves behind this. We think this can, can sort of go somewhere and do something. But get involved and help us. Thanks very much. I'm starting to get a bit uh, sunstroke, is it? Sort of feel that way. So all the best, lads. Good luck.